first time I have done anything at a Bardic Madness. <gasps> Yay! And yet it's also three firsts. The first, my first event, many, 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 many years ago. I mean, rocks were still soft, okay. <laughs> and my son was a squirming bundle in my arms. And you can blame Ingrid the Crafty if you like, but she convinced us to go to Twelfth Night in Trigard C. And about the most vivid memory I have of that is sitting at Ingrid's sale table, feeding my child, and having this squat little dude in white robes and a turban come by and not approving them, approvingly at me and saying, now that's period. <laughs> I now know him to be Duke Sir Cariadoc of the Boo. <laughs> and I looked up and said, no, that's a hungry baby. <laughs> The second first, some years later, my son is no longer a squirming bundle in my arms. He is now perfectly mobile on his own. He is five and a half. And I took two young men to Penzik for their first Penzik. One was Brendan. The other one was Tristan der Fackeltrager, <laughs> the evil sheriff. And he was going to fight at his first Penzik. And you've all met Tristan. And if you haven't, somebody will tell you. He is not averse to singing his praises. His own praises. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't normally wear a watch, but the day of the field battle, I wore a watch. And when they sounded the cannon for that first charge, I started my stopwatch going. And the first hole, click. And here comes Tristan. I was out there forever. I killed a duke and I got into a combat. And, and I said, oh, I, it's, it's amazing. And I said, Tristan, you were out there for 45 seconds. <laughs> I said, what? No, it was longer than that. I said, nope, 45 seconds. <laughs> From cannon to hold. <laughs> and the third first, a couple of years later, Brendan is now about that tall. And he has been practicing with the bow for two years. And he said, Mom, this year I'm shooting the war point. Okay, we can do that. Now he's got one of those little red bear bows, about 20 pound draw weight. And I said, okay, uh, you're gonna have a heck of a time with the clout, but give it a go. And, and he's very proud of the fact that he's dropping arrows almost two thirds of the way up the hill. <laughs> Very proud of that, and, and the, the marshals were very proud of him. And this was before they had the window slot, so there was just the clout and the advancing man. If you have not been to Pensick, the advancing man targets at 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. You get about five seconds per target. If you are not used to shooting at speed and changing your aiming point every five seconds. This is a real bear. So I gave Brendan the advice I give all new archers. So you have all the time in the world to aim at 70. So a Hail Mary. He says, okay, mom. Then what? I said, try for 40. Then what? Make sure you get him at 20. I did not realize how closely Brendan had been paying attention to my behavior on the line. Because when the marshal called the line dead, just before he called hold at the end of that 30 seconds, I hear the little piping voice from about five lanes down go, got him. <laughs> <laughs> and we know Brenda, yeah, no, I got him. <laughs> and he did. That little itty bitty kid's arrow right square at the man's chest. <laughs> so cool. <far off. laughs> Thank you. <Yay. laughs>